Hi there, this is Sheila from designsbybabymoon.com and I wanted to show you how to access your files from the designsbybabymoon.com website. So the first thing um, you'll see when you go to designsbybabymoon.com or www.designsbybabymoon.com is the home screen and on the home screen you have a menu up top, you have um, different categories of designs. If you were looking for something specific, um, there are different categories right here. There's another section that lists the designs that are the newest ones first. And uh, you might like to see what's new by scrolling through here just to see kind of what's new. Uh, you could see all of them this way. Um, you could go, ah, you can't go to Instagram right now. I've got to fix that. But um, there's also a section for you to join our mailing list um, so that you get news by your email. Uh, and, or you can connect with us on social media by any of these icons. So uh, let's go back up to the top here. In uh, When you make an account on designsbybabymoon.com, um, you can access your own information, your own downloads from the uh, account, which is this little person up here on the top um, you can see your stuff so it'll ask you to log in and it will show you this library of your designs and then you can look in your orders to see your actual orders and it'll tell you which um, you know what what item you picked how much you paid for it whatever um, and then you can also see your downloadable files I just have uh, these are all the files that are in my personal account that I can download and uh, use on my embroidery machine if I wanted to do it this way so I have all these files on my computer so that's why I don't have on here they're just some tests so um, but let me show you how to download your files so what you would do is you would click on each file name like this and it would bring up this little um, thing right here that shows you the zip file package now a zip file is a collection of files uh, for lots of different embroidery machines there are files for brother machines for Tajima uh, commercial embroidery machines for Faf, for Husqvarna for Singer um, Janome um, Viking um, Baby Lock, of Bernina, of course, all uh, any major embroidery machine that you that is available right now. I have a file that will work in your embroidery machine in the zip file. So what you need to do is you need to click on this um, title of the file right here. When I hover over it with a mouse, I get this little arrow that says it wants to download it to your computer. And so what I would do is I would just download it. I would click on it, let it download somewhere. And I just probably just put it in my downloads folder and I would just download that zip file and save it there then I like to come down to it and do the show in folder and then let me move this over here you can see in my downloads today um, that there is this typewriter alphabet charm set that I just downloaded when I see that folder I would put it where I wanted to I have a um, a set of things for embroidery design files that uh, kind of organize them for me and so I would put it where I wanted to go but if I if I just wanted to download and use it right now I would left or right click with my mouse which on my I'm right handed so that's the button that's on the uh, that I use my middle finger on and I would click that right just hover over it and click over it, and then I click this extract all button and that's going to bring up this folder that says do I want to select a destination and extract files this is where they'll go they'll go in that download section of my computer um, and where I can change that and put them somewhere else so um, I'm gonna leave them in the downloads folder that's fine um, select that folder and I click this extract button and it's gonna um, extract all those different files types and I did pick one that had 296 items in it okay here we go so these are all the files <laughs> that are in there and in this particular file set they're set because there's um this is an abc file set uh, i separated them out by category so there are the pdf files that are the stitch maps so that you could access that if you needed to print it out first to see how large it is and what color changes were there um, there is also a tutorial in this file um, there's the PDF tutorial right there 
there are files for the different embroidery machine types and if you're using a brother or baby lock which is the most common embroidery machine you would obviously pick the pes files and then there are your abc files all of those are for your pes file if you wanted to take those and then put them on a usb stick then you would simply click on it insert your usb stick into your computer and then move these files to your USB stick that you would use to take over to your embroidery machine. Um, if your embroidery machine has wireless capabilities or Wi-Fi is on your Wi-Fi, then you would just transfer it through your embroidery machine software where it talks to your computer or to your wireless network, and you would do it that way. Um, if you're on a device like a tablet or a phone, I'm not sure that this Will work i think you have to do it from a computer but if your tablet or phone will allow you to extract files and then you can plug in a usb to your tablet or your phone and access the files that way um, then you could totally do that but you do need to unzip the file package in order to see all of the things that are inside of it because when it's not unzipped then all you can see is this and this is a compressed file folder and it doesn't let you access the files unless you're already in embroidery software so just a tip um, for how to access your files but then once you have that you can take it to your embroidery machine you can move it into your embroidery software do something different with it um, you have lots of different options of what you can do once you get to that point but but you do need to unzip it and then go into the unzipped files. You can tell these are unzipped files because they do not have a zipper on that file folder. This one right here is the one we downloaded from the website and it has a zipper on the file folder right there. Okay, let's look at what else you can do inside your account um, because I just wanna show everybody this too. So the other things that you can do on here is you can click on this rewards button and you can see what kind of rewards points you have. So um, every purchase that you make, uh, when you're logged into your account um, will earn you points that you can use to uh, get free designs or free things off the designs by baby moon website so that is what that little pink crown is down here on the bottom um, i have uh, my editing software on the screen and so i don't know if you can see it but there is a little wish list button on here let's pick a design so i'm going to go to the shop by newest products first i'm going to grab this new hand sanitizer holder and i'm going to put it on my wish list and i'll show you where that pops up so it's adding it to my wish list and then after it's done adding it adding 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 we're waiting we're waiting it's adding it it says it's adding it um, there'll be a little heart that pops up down near this rewards button and so you'll be able to click on that and see the items that are on your wish list the wish list feature on here um, only works for two weeks unless you make an account with this listfully app that is like an extension uh, product that i've added to the website so if you make an account with listfully um, you can use it kind of like a visual bookmark system for lots of different things um, it's kind of like a Pinterest but it's only your own information and it doesn't get shared with anybody but once that's added then there'll be a little heart that pops up over here and you can click on your heart and see the things that are on your wish list so let's try with another product and add that to our wish list another thing that you can do that I like to do is I just pin it on Pinterest I have a list of embroidery designs that I like and I just pin it on Pinterest and that saves it for me and I don't have to worry about it it looks like listfully is down right now so I need to check with the developer and see uh, what the problem is there but oh there it goes add to wish list we'll add it and then um, while that's adding let me open this in a new tab so you can see the listfully site so um, I have an account on listfully and this is my baby moon account and I'll show you how this works and I don't know if the issue is my internet or um, it could be my own Wi-Fi if there's another issue but it would save my lists right here and right now listfully is not working so right now we just can't access that so I'm sorry for the trouble on there I'll check with the developer and see what's going on there 
Um, but other than that, you could, you could do all kinds of other things. There are, and I will link this video into our FAQ section so that you know how to download your files. Um, and I don't have any of that on there. So I will put a link to this video on the FAQs on how to, how do I access my files just so we have it. Um, if you want to, uh, the fastest way to get a hold of me is by going to our Facebook group. And let's see, there should be a link to it right here. This is a link to our Designs by Baby Moon Facebook group. And it's called the Designs by Baby Moon Embroidery Designs Friends and Fans. Um, the fastest way to get in touch with me is actually to post in this group, um, sending me a message through email. Uh, it usually takes me 24 to 48 hours to get through emails to people. But if you post in the group and then tag me, my name is Sheila Ryan in the group um, I'm happy to answer your question just as fast as I can and if I can't there are 11,000 other people in the group and somebody else may know uh, the answer to your question as well so feel free to post in the group ask a question uh, share how your stitch outs come out or ask for help um, if you're looking for supplies or wondering which materials work best for which designs and um, we'd be happy to help you there so i hope that helps um, let me know how your projects come out and we will talk to you soon if you get a chance um, if you're seeing this on youtube if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and like this video that would make sure that i know that this content is being reached um, to the right people and that helps me know which kind of videos that i need to make to help uh, everybody that likes these designs. All right. Thank you. We will talk to you soon.